Hi, student 625. This is Professor Dayton again. Uh, I want to give you another follow-up lesson in graphic arts tools using Word 2007. The previous demo was Word Art, and uh, it turned out that that logo I was experimenting with would not fit in such a small space here and still be readable. All right. So as you can see, I came up with something else. It looks like a uh, keyboard key, and it's got the PRWR 625 DLMP on. All right, I created that in Word 2007. How did I do it? Um, I'll go through the steps again here. I remembered that uh, those shapes will take letters. They become like text boxes. All right, so I went and found a shape that had looked like it would have about the right dimensions, what I wanted for the ultimate space it was going to fill. Um, I dragged after selecting to create my initial shape. I then say right click and add text, uh, PRWR 625DLMP is about all it's going to fit. And from there on, I treat it like a piece of text in a text box. I keep selecting it, right clicking to find various options. Uh, so we'll start with a typeface. Uh, I ended up with Arial 24, Arial Black 24. Uh, I turn on the condensed. And I condense that pretty well with two points of condensing. I say OK. I say Control E to center it. And now I've got to go to the paragraph on the right click uh, to get. If I do single spacing, it's it's putting way too much leading between the lines. All right. So I've got to I've got to go exactly and then control it one point at a time. 24 by 24 is solid. That's what my uh, original design was I could probably go down to 24 uh, point type over 22 with only 22 points of letting because there are no descenders or ascenders uh, and in fact that's the case uh, it looks a little more towards the top than I want it so I select it again I go back to the paragraph uh, I'm going to add six points of spacing before the paragraph I moved it down uh, I moved it down a little too much uh, give it another shot. I'll just select this and say three. All right, that's about right. Now all I have to do is come up here to the text box styles. I've got various things I can do. I can, again, change shape, outline, fill. Uh, but I'm happy with uh, the shape. I think I'll just change the color a little bit. Uh, make it a greenish with a gradient tone. Okay, there you are. An illustration of how you can use the insert illustrations shapes to create text box uh, shapes.